bunch of parts here. here. Okay, so I got this uh, crank bolt loosened up. I'll show you what I what we used. Ended up using an Allen key into the all the way there. And goes through the hole into the flywheel. I can take this guy out. Let's see who's working hard. Mr. Vicky's working hard. Damn, that looks good. Thanks, Rob. Looks really good. Nice. You still gotta go through this. Yeah, definitely With have this to. This and this looks, so looks really good. And then the Timing inside, cover. this is the best it's gonna get. Yeah, uh, for sure. No, that's pretty you good. You know how dirty it was before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah that looks outside. really, really good. Nice. The same thing. Nice. So, to install this little guide, which is right here it's a bit of a pain so we're gonna actually just take these studs off and and then i'm talking to the camera <laughs> you're good how's that going along good doing good i'm just gonna give it a final but yeah these and then that way i can just install them straight onto that one and then i'll be able to just like put everything back and tighten these with an open end wrench loosen that one too all the mating surfaces are clean and they're ready to go for the timing cover okay so this is how we're going to install it these are pre-installed these studs otherwise it's you're risking of breaking this that's why we want to do it this way and now i can literally just use an open end wrench and install it like this Okay, after this is all cleaned up, we're gonna install this new crank seal. It's all clean. Yeah, I'm saying after oh, it's yeah. all cleaned up now, it's we're gonna install this crank seal. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. So on both sides. And just see if you can hammer straight down carefully. Tap, tap, tap. Wait, wait. We just wanna check, you see how it's crooked now? All right, new crank seal installed. Everything good to go. Okay, ready to install this new chain guide and chain. This one is installed already and torqued. I got two chain guides brand new on and a timing chain as well. And that C-clip is connected. 
Now I'm gonna get ready, clean this mating surface some more and install new gaskets on the timing cover and reinstall the timing cover. So we organize the bolts. So we got new gaskets, both sides for the <clears throat> timing cover. Okay, we'll get the gasket on. Add a little bit of RT to hold it in place. I'm ready to reinstall. Okay, got the timing cover installed. Nice. Timing chain. Okay, ready to install harmonic balancer. Got that installed. All right. That's it or not? That's it. Past 1 a.m. <laughs> This is the third night in a row, right? Okay, got this area pretty much wrapped up. Everything tightened up, all the bolts. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this knock sensor, the bad one. And then there's another one in there. I'm gonna replace that too. This sensor is just falling apart. That's the new one made by Bosch. This is how bad the old one is. It's really bad. All right, guys, so we are done for tonight. Um, tomorrow we have to take the cylinder head to the machine shop. And um, yeah, after that, uh, once the head is done, then we can go ahead and start finishing everything up right here i uh, did a lot of work today um you know installed the front timing cover and all that stuff um so yeah just mainly right now our biggest focus is going to be on more cleaning and doing the cylinder head so here's the cylinder head right here uh, 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 uh.